So today we're going to be making goat meat pepper soup. But first of all, let me apologize for going MIA on YouTube. My videos have not been regular. I really apologize for that. Life just happens and I've been so busy that it's been difficult to upload. Some of these videos are even available, but the time to even upload them is what I don't have. But right now, filming is going to be back to regular. Our recipes are going to be here every weekend so that you can have the time to try it out. Anyway, let's go back to today's recipe if I talk too much. We're making goat meat pepper soup. And it is so easy to make. You can see the duration of this video is going to be very short because of how easy it is to make. You just need to find goat meat and the right, the right pepper soup spice mix. I'm going to be sharing my favorites with you. So if you're interested in learning it, keep watching. Don't forget to click the like button. It is very important. Don't forget to subscribe, share Facebook, Twitter, and all that good stuff. Let's start cooking. So for the ingredients, we're going to be using seasoning cube. I'm using goat meat seasoning cube. You have some in the market with goat meat flavor. So it enhances the flavor of this pepper soup. I'm going to be adding a bit of salt. I'm going to add some onion, just little onion. And I'm just going to let that boil till the goat meat is softened. This goat meat, I could taste and smell the stubbornness. So it took a while to boil. By the way, I have a recipe on catfish pepper soup if you're interested. So when the goat meat is boiled, you're going to add your pepper soup spice. I'm going to be using about three tablespoons of pepper soup spice for this one. And then you can also taste for salt, taste to see if the seasoning is enough and you can add as much as you like. I'm also going to be adding pepper because it's pepper soup after all, so you have to add enough pepper so that when you're taking it, you'll be doing... I'm also going to be adding some crayfish for that lovely crayfish flavor. When it has cooked for about 15 minutes, by then everything would have entered each other, the ingredients and everything. You're going to add your scent leaf. I love scent leaves because it gives a very lovely aroma and flavor to pepper soup. Yeah, I was really tempted to add the yam and turn this thing to Okodo <laughs> until I remembered, oh, today I'm just filming goat meat pepper soup. So this is what my goat meat pepper soup looks like. It is very sweet, very delicious to taste. The aroma is just mesmerizing. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. You can see I'm ready to get down. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.